सो हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द आई आई टी मद्रास स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी चैनल टूडे वील बी सॉल्विंग द आई आई टी एम ग्रेडेड असाइनमेंट बट बिफोर दैट सब्सक्राइब अस एंड ज्वाइन आवर चैनल टू गेट फुल एक्सेस एंड ऑल आवर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन Good evening very good evening everyone so today we are going to do the problems of the graded assignment 2 of statistics so here we have a good number of questions 11 questions which we are going to discuss right now all these are for based on basics so i hope we you will be enjoying the class and the assignment as well yes what is the first question which of the following statements is or are incorrect incorrect remember rim correct so what are the uh, options given to represent the share of a particular category bar chart is the most appropriate graphical representation is that that only bar chart is the representation most appropriate most appropriate which is the most appropriate graphical uh, used for graphical representation think again but one thing is sure bar chart is not the most appropriate graphical representation in uses of the rectangular bars and all if you want a proper most appropriate graphic representation we can use a pareto chart we can use a pareto chart because it will be telling us in either the ascending order or the descending order and give us the exact information so this is incorrect the multiplication of the total number of observations and relative frequency of a particular observation should be equal to the frequency of that observation perfect it is really very absolutely correct so what i have asked they have asked as incorrect so we cannot mark this so this is not the option next one mean can be defined for a categorical variable what is a categorical variable and what are mean mean means it's a number it's nothing but an average sort of thing and categorical variable what is a categorical variable it takes the qualitative values not the quantitative values so this is wrong but see this is wrong but what did they ask us they asked us for the option which are incorrect so i have written like this now mode of a categorical variable is the widest slice no what it is what is a mode mode is like the number of times a frequency is getting uh, a frequency occurs the, num the number of times is called as the mode we suppose like what is the mode in the sense which one is occurring the most frequently we call that number to be the mode of that particular chart now wow here we come with the, our our favorite chart pie guy pie pie chart so what is given this is a figure which is showing the distribution of the weightage of the marks wow all the time i would be uh, uh, you might have observed in my classes i will be taking the example of the marks obtained and all so here the dis distribution of weightage we have seen the subjects so this are, these are all the subjects marks how much percentage they have obtained and all now what is the question how many students uh, how many marks is this means what is the uh, when you whenever you see the pie chart first thing it should come is is the so is the division of the pie chart summing up to 100 so just check over here 12 18 10 25 35 so sum up all of them it is nothing but 20 to carry and it is 10 wow so it is 100% so this pie graph is perfect now now let us check for the question what is the question if the exam is for, for total 500 marks then what is the aggregate distribution of marks in physics maths and biology this is very easy what are the aggregate marks okay actually uh, what is what are the total marks they are 500 how many marks did physics obtain physics they have obtained 35% means how to calculate how many physics marks it is very easy 35 by 100 times 500 then what you would get just cancel them off you will be getting 175 what is the next subject math for math how much what is the math color here green so in green color how many is there 18% so this is nothing but 18 by 100 into 500 right 18 by 100 into 500 so 5 5 gets cancelled now how did you calculate 18 5 are how much is it it is 
now what is the next one it is biology and biology what is the color of the biology here yellow so it's 10 so 500 of 10 percent it is nothing but 50 aggregate marks they have asked you the aggregate marks what are the aggregate marks what are the aggregate marks just add them up 175 50 and 90 just take them up add them up total find the total what is the total the marks obtained here now check 759 10 20 21 so 315 right is it right So 350, 315 are the marks you have got. So what is the uh, what is the aggregate? Aggregate means sum. So what is the uh, what is it? It is 315. Now, what is the next question? The pie chart is uh, m misleading. What did they ask us? Yeah, what did they ask us choose the correct statement the pie chart is misleading because it does not obey the area principle is it so no here we have already checked it is hundred percent so this is wrong the pie chart has round of errors does it have any error no this doesn't have this doesn't have the pie chart is not a misleading graph yes it is not a misleading graph because all the principles it is following the slices of pie chart adds up to 100%. Yes, very good. In the very beginning of the question, we have seen that. So, the next one. So, this is how we have done the pie chart question. Wow. Now, we have we are here with a distribution. Um, represents the distribution of 200 cricket players trained by different cricket academies in Chennai. Very good. How many academies are there? We have five academies and these are the distributions. Very good. If each academy has trained at least one player, means why is he telling at least one player? So, it is it is very clearly defined that A, B, D are not equal to 0. At least one player means, at least a, means one player is must and should for all the three. Now, what is the combined relative frequency of the academy A, B and D? Enter the correct answer under the correct answer with this in three decimal places very good now how many total players are there there are 200 okay now means this 200 are is equal to a plus b plus 50 plus d plus 75 right a plus b plus 50 plus d plus 75 is equal to 200 yes yes now how will you find what is the value of a plus b plus d just 200 minus 50 minus 75 what it is 150 minus 75 what is the value nothing but 75 very good so a plus b plus d is equal to 75 what did they ask us combined relative frequency what is a relative frequency we have seen in our class that relative frequency means the observation by the total so here combined read it again be careful combined relative frequency so what is the combined value of this it is 75 so it is nothing but 75 by how many players are there 200 so 75 divided by 2 is generally how much it is 37.5 we have two can 200 can be two into 100 so again by 100 gives you 0 0.375 so the answer is 0 0.375 so this is how we have calculated the relative frequency what is the relative frequency as we have discussed in the class it is the ratio of the frequency by the total number of frequency this is how we have got very good now median of the given data first of all 
more than median i think we are not much into it but yes to calculate the mean or mode me, median or mode we need to have all the frequencies is it there do we have do we know what is the value of a b and d no we are not sure about a b and d so we can say that median is not defined for the given data when a median is not defined for a given data it's obvious that what is the median yes median is not defined for the given data now what is the question mode of the given data is what is the mode of the given data the most frequently uh, frequently occurring one is called as the mode or as we have seen that this is a discrete distribution we can take the mode to be the highest value as well so here what is the highest value see we know that the summation of a b and d has given us 75 and only e is having 75 so we can consider so we can take that the mode is academy e yes now which of the following graph representation is appropriate for the number of players in each academy for the given data in table 2.1.g so what is the most appropriate one here we have seen bar chart pie chart pie chart gives us the distribution pareto chart so we can say that both the bar chart and pareto chart are Uh, are the correct charts to give us the appropriate representation so to give the appropriate graphical representation both bar chart and pareto chart pareto chart will be helpful for us how bar chart just to give the normal representation of team uh, academy a b c and d half pareto chart by either the in increasing order or the decreasing order it helps us to give us the answers now what is the next question yes the data of number of students sharing the rank is collected which of the following is or are suitable to represent the collected data so here they have given us a data they are asking us to select the perfect one like the uh, to select the suitable suitable one so we have seen that whenever there is a ranking given yes please observe the charts clearly carefully here for us the number of students are on the y axis and the ranking is on the x axis 5 10 15 20 and all so it is starting from 5 please observe this 5 is the starting point is it true is it good that we will have uh, a start minimum value of 5 this is not a greater distribution this is just a normal distribution of interval 5 so can a chart start from 5 no it needs to start from the beginning so okay now come down it is starting from 0 5 10 very good all the parameters are there very good perfect so this gives us the answer what is the um, mistake in the third one the ranking should be ranking is a parameter under which the other things are considered like the number of students are counted so ranking should be on the x axis the number of students should be on the y axis so this is the mistake in both the graphs now let us come to the ninth question choose the correct statement about categorical data come on what we have seen about categorical data tell me does categorical data have measurement units what is a categorical data what is a categorical data we have seen that there are categorical data and numerical data i have taken the class on this categorical data and numerical data in the numerical data it will have all the numerical values and the categorical data also there is a chance but numerical data is a quantitative data categorical data will be a qualitative data it will take the qualitative values and numerical data will take a quantitative variables so when it is a qualitative variables yes so what is that 
categorical data will it have a measurement unit no it will not have a measurement unit very good now categorical data is quantitative in nature is it so is it so i have just now said categorical data is a qualitative in nature so wrong so obviously the option of all the above will be going on the next answer is categorical data can take numerical values but no meaningful mathematical operations can be performed on it so this is how we are doing now coming to the next question we are now what is the question here the distribution of grades in a statistics class consisting of 80 students is shown by a pie chart so this is the pie chart which is uh, given to us based on the information given please answer the questions 10 and 11 it's okay very good how many students have secured grade b or b grade so this is the pie chart which is in front of us now as usual let us just check it out whether this is a misleading pie chart or a perfect pie chart so just go with this so add them up it is five it is 10 this is 10 very good so it is of 100 percent this is 100 percent so yes so this is not a misleading pie chart very good now they have asked us to find the number of students who have secured B grade. So, the different colors are there. It's a very good colorful representation of the pie graph. How many students have secured B grade? So, what is the value? Oh, 32.5. So, 32.5 percent have secured B grade of 80. So, 80 times 32.5 percent. 0 0 gets cancelled but at as it is 32.5 the point of that gets come down so you could see that all are each and everyone is a multiple of each other there is a common factor for all of them so let us go in a basic way let us do this it's 5 twos are 10 5 6 times 5 times 6 is 35 now 2 times 4 5 times 13 and 5 times 2 2 times 2 so in a very basic thing I have done 2, in two times 13 is 26 so the number of the students in who secured B grade are 26 now what is the ratio of the students secured C, uh, C grade and A grade very good this is a very good question C grade and A grade what is the number of the students 22.5 percent of 80 ratio ratio means like this of A grade what is the A grade of students 25 percent of 80 so this 80 this 80 gets cancelled percent percent we can cancel easy method is 22.5 by 25 which is nothing but 225 by 25 into 10 the point i have removed the decimal i have removed there and bought it here so again we could find that there are common factors for both of them so it is 5 times 5 5 times 4 is 25 5 times 9 and here we have got it as 9 by 10 which is nothing but 0 0.9 so this is the ratio of the students we can say that ratio when they have asked the ratio are better than the real decimal representation we can write it as 9 is to 10 this is the ratio what it is for every 9 students of uh, who secured C grade there are 10 students who have secured A grade so this is our graded assignment of 11 questions we have completed now i hope the assignment each and every question is very much very clearly uh, taken and each and every question is answer is answers are done 
in a very clear way i hope everyone have understood it thank you thank you for the session bye take care